Hello everyone, this is the video number 6 in the IoT Data Simulator tool series and today we are going to replay dataset content in the schemaless mode. It means that data processing will be fully applied via JavaScript function. First of all, let's take a look at the dataset we are going to work with today. I created a small JSON file which consists of 4 messages. As you can see, we have three different message types – start, running and finish – with their unique additional properties. We will try to replay this dataset in the same way as in the previous video, which means that we will replay data with dataset-specific intervals and update all time values to present ones. Ok, let's open the tool and create new session with new data definition. Let's upload our dataset into simulator using upload new option. But this time we cannot use proposed data definition schema as it fits only the first message. Tool allows us using of only one schema per session. And you probably remember that we have three different message types with their unique data structure in the uploaded data set. That is why we can process such data set only in schemaless mode. Let's skip proposed schema, give some data definition name and create new definition and select it. In schemaless mode, tool doesn't know anything about data structure we are working with, so dataset timer isn't available here. But we can replay data with dataset specific time intervals using custom function. Let's define one. As you can see, there are three parameters here – state, dataset entry and previous dataset entry. First, we're going to check whether if previous dataset entry is available. Then, parse dataset entry and previous dataset entry because they are just stringified JSON objects. and calculate time difference. Current entry time minus previous dataset entry time. Ok, let's proceed. We're skipping devices. And to make everything work on data processing option screen, we also need to define custom JavaScript function and update time values to present ones. First, we're parsing dataset entry. Then checking whether if entry's time is available. and update this property using moment.js library. Ok, let's proceed. Select dummy target system and set the name for this session. Let's run it. You can see that we replayed our dataset content with dataset provided time intervals, but all time values has been updated to present ones. Of course, we can also update some property values on the fly. Let's update, for instance, passed distance property. For this, we need to update payload processing function. First, we're going to check whether if event property equals 
to run in. And update, update this property. And let's run this session one more time. You can see that now passed property value has been changed during dataset entities processing. Next time we will talk about devices, their purpose and how to work with them in the data simulator tool. That's it for today. Bye.